Heels is celebrating its third annual Heels Life Ride for Amfar. The 10-day, 1,800-mile charity motorcycle event takes riders from Miami through Atlanta into Washington, D.C. on bikes provided by Eagle Rider. Actor and rider John Corbett. It's great to be on the road and even better that it's for a good cause. In addition to a $100,000 contribution, Heels is pledged to donate an additional dollar to Amfar, up to 15000 for each new Facebook fan. Celebrities and motorcycle enthusiasts are revving up their engines in Miami Beach right now. Chuck Victor joins us from Keels with a lot of cool products. Some products on the go, especially while you're out biking, right? Biking, walking, beaching, whatever you're doing. What has become of Life Right over the years is it was an opportunity for Keels to take the most iconic symbol that we have for the brand, which is the motorcycle, but really give it a purpose. Get it on the road, not only to raise money, but also to raise awareness for HIV and AIDS. They're actually stopping here in Jacksonville tomorrow. The St. John's Town Center will be the local stop for the Keels Life Ride. The camaraderie of everybody is just amazing, and sharing the support of such a great cause has been nothing short of spectacular. I'm very proud to say that Eagle Rider came on as our top sponsor and donated all these incredible motorcycles that we're getting to ride. They're all Harley Davidsons, which is what you'll find in Keel Stores, all American company riding all American muscle. The Life Ride for Amfar stops in Buckhead today. It's a motorcycle ride from Miami to Washington, D.C., all to raise money for Amfar. Collective Souls Ed Rowland's going to be welcoming riders and shoppers to the Keel Store at Lenox. To see a bunch of people come together and be a part of something like this, where they, you know, they really are committed, obviously, because everybody has to take the time. It shows a real sense, I think, of a real dedication to something greater than just themselves. This isn't easy. You're not sitting in first class and flying somewhere. This is uh, this is grinding. You know the heat. You know the motors are overheating. And but then uh, you remember why you're doing this, and and then you put a smile on your face and you get back on the bike, and then you start enjoying it again. I saw the three riders in front of me stopping short, and at that point he must have just gone into the gully because I saw the trees were swaying. Man, he went into those trees like a missile. That's all I'm saying. And I saw it, and I know that that's what happened. For him to get up and walk away from that, and furthermore, for all of us to pull that bike out, and for Paul to clean it up and get it going again, you will never see something like that happen again. More riding ahead? Absolutely more riding ahead. It was just a miracle. And I think the life ride took on a whole new meaning yesterday. I just thought about all the people that, that, you know, if they were healthy enough, they would do this ride. Being a part of it, being hands-on, that's when you really, really feel the value of what you're doing. Hey, John, why don't you jump on a motorcycle with 20 or 30 strangers that you never met before, and we'll ride 1,800 miles from Miami up to Washington, D.C. And I thought about it for five or 10 minutes, and I said, yeah, I can do that. And all of a sudden, ahead of us was a storm like Miami like hurricane. And we got poured on. Today we all gear up with plastic bags. We're ready for the rain. He didn't drizzle once. Just this week he led a group of motorcyclists, philanthropists, and Sharon Stone into town for a charity fundraising event. Joe Leonard Weaver. Patrick Mucker. Paul Martinez. Lance Bradley. And with the proper funding, we could see a cure for AIDS. We could see it in our lifetime. Motorcycle celebs unite for the third annual Kills Life Ride for Ampha. Sharon Stone, Jill Marini, Tyson Beckford, and John Corbett all joined Kills president Chris Salgado in celebrating the end of the life ride and the raising of a ton of money. This ride, this AIDS ride, can be the thing that provides the funds that create a cure of vaccine. This is an event that's open to the public at the Kiehl's store in Georgetown. It's part of an event called Life Ride for Amfar, and you can actually buy some Kiehl's products while you're there. All the proceeds go to Amfar. We started in Miami, and we've worked our way up, and we're here in beautiful DC. We're thrilled to be here in one piece. Yes. <laughs>